Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite fictional character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. So then I say, oh Hermione, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Yeah, Ron, that, that's quite nice. Oh, hi, listener. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, Ron, I gotta go check up on her. All right, I'll meet you back in the common room. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Sorry, I actually ignored you while we were, you know, in Professor Snape. Just got back from detention. Yeah. <sighs> Old man, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, what are you doing here? Oh, you just got back from McGonagall. Oh, I see. Learning some new spells. Yeah. I mean, Flitwick do does the same thing. But I guess other teachers, pro professors, do it too. Sorry. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Maybe because I'm standing right next to you. <laughs> Sorry, that seems rather inappropriate. Hey, you want to go get something to eat before we head to my common room? Alright, come on then. Oh no. Malfoy. Let, let's go to the other side. Oi, Porter! <sighs> Bloody hell. What are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to go back to your common room. I was, until I stumbled across a friend. A friend? So Mudblood and Weasley aren't your only friends. <laughs> You're just trying to be so popular, aren't you? Shut up, Malfoy! You're telling me to shut up, Potter! Anyway, I came to see her, not you. I'll deal with you any time later today. So leave us be, Potter. Well, there will be some consequences. If you dare hurt her, you know it's a fight. In Quidditch. <laughs> Trying to toughen up, Porter. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. You will. Oh, there's a reason why I want to see you, listener, isn't it? Well... It appears McGonagall did not get my homework. Did you forget to turn it in for me? I told you, listener, that you were supposed to do my homework and then turn it in to McGonagall's. And it turns out she didn't get my papers. Why is that, listener? Why didn't McGonagall get one of my homework from last night? Oh, and the other thing. About that Griffin report for Hagrid. I was supposed to turn that in yesterday. And it turns out Hagrid did not get it. And why is that? That is absolutely correct, listener. You didn't turn it in. Oh, I'm not going to hit you. Well, Crab and Goyle is not around with me. And I'm not going to pull out my wand and... Stupefy you. <laughs> no. I'm not going to do that. Because if I do, I believe Professor Snape would be catching us. So instead, meet me by the courtyard. Today by three o'clock. When no one's not around. Meet me in the corners. You'll wait and see. See you later, listener. Oh, it's just a little punishment for not turning in my homework. See you soon. Is 
Si Gong. Oh, great. Are you all right? He didn't hurt you, right? That, that, that's great. You still want to come to the common room with me? You got to meet him by three o'clock at the courtyard. I'll, I'll be on my invisibility cloak just to make sure he does not hurt you. Mm -hmm. I'll be hiding. I'll give you a sign that I am there. I want to protect you. You're my friend. And I don't want to lose a friend over that. Quite childish. How come he never does his homework? Yeah, he's indeed a mudblood. <laughs> come on, listener. Let's head back to the Gryffindor's common room. What? Oh. I see. You and, uh... Yeah, Susan Bones. Guess you got a project with her. All right. I'll walk you there. It looks like it's almost three. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll be over there in the corner with my invisibility cloak. So... Oh, here he comes. Um, I'll be back there, all right? Well, someone got here just in time. Were you waiting for me? How long have you been standing there? I could have swore I heard Porter. Is he around here? Good. It's just the two of us. <laughs> oh, you think I was going to do something really harsh? To something so adorable? Oh. <laughs> Giving me attitude, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Repulsal <laughs> You did forget we're in Hogwarts Which means I get to use that spell on you <laughs> Oh yes, I got you pinned Right where I need you <laughs> oh, What's the matter? Trying to Stay away from me. <laughs> You're making the grip really tight. <laughs> oh, so adorable. Never seen a Hufflepuff trying to act tough and brave. Quite rare, because they're meant to be really sweet. <laughs> Looks like you're quite the opposite, aren't you, listener? That's what I really like about you. Be too scared to stand up for me. I'm sorry, Walt. You better speak up, listener, because I can't hear you. Hey, look at me while you're talking to me. It's quite rude. Now, what did you say? Say it to my face. I see. So you do want me to hurt you. And if I do, we'll both get in trouble. Be sent into attention or lose a point. And I do not want to lose a point. I don't want to be beaten by those Gryffindors. Especially Porter. I'm going to do something else. Other than hurt you. I didn't cast a love spell on you. That was a real kiss I'd given you. No spell on it. <laughs> Your cheeks are turning red. Don't tell me you don't like it. Because I can tell you're looking away. 
So for all this time you've always had a crush on me. The Slytherin boy that's been picking on you ever since first year. Did I really admire you, listener? <laughs> so you finally figured it out. The reason I picked on you is because I didn't want anyone to be near you. Especially Porter. I don't want him to go near you. Because I wanted you all to myself. That's the reason why I pick on you. Just to scare him away. <laughs> so what do you feel about me now, listener? Forget about the homework. I don't care about it. That's already got it done. <laughs> I just love teasing you. I bet you like it. I just wanted to spend my first private time with you. All to myself. <laughs> no way. He's in love with her. Oh, blimey. Oi, Hi, Harry. Harry. <laughs> Fred! George, shh. Oh, sorry, mate. Uh, just, just see you there. See you later. Porter. Ah, uh, I was about to go to um. I was gonna see Hermione. Yes. Um. See you later. Are you tricking me, listener? Was he spying on us? So you're telling me he's spying on us because he wants to make sure you're all right. Making sure I never hurt you. Well, looking into your eyes, I can see it. I bet Porter really has a thing for you. Well, not this time. Because you are mine. That's why I kissed you, right? <laughs> exactly. That's all I want to tell you, is to confess my true feelings for you. Even though I want to apologize for picking on you for the past three years. I hope you forgive me. Or oh, indeed, did you really enjoy it? <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I hope I get to see you again. Oh, and one more thing. Here's the password if you ever want to visit me in the Slytherin's common room. Just say it on the door and then I'll be able to see you. I'm always hanging in the living room. See you later, love.